guys, welcome to Claire's class at the Maybelline Makeup Loft. <laughs> so I'm gonna be teaching you guys today all about cool, neutral, and warm tones. And I'm gonna be running through with you how to use a cool tone palette for a warm skin tone, which is mine. So this is gonna be more of like a winter look, if anything. So I used to find it really hard to actually determine what was a warm, cool, and neutral skin tone, but the internet luckily has so many different types of like tricks that you can use to identify what type of skin tone you are for, you know, what your foundation color is or what would look good on you. So one of the main tricks is what color your veins are. So my veins are actually a bit bluish greenish. I can't really even determine what they are. They look a little bit green, so I'm I'm actually more of an olive skin tone. But looking at this, it looks like a more of a neutral. Um, but anyways, I fake tan, so that instantly makes me way more of a warm tone. Um, if you are more of a purple vein, that means you're probably more of a cool tone. There's also some ways that you shouldn't look at it, and that is what your surface level colors are. So if you have rosacea like me, you're probably a bit red around the cheeks. If you've gone for a run, you're gonna be a bit redder. If you've gone out in the sun, sometimes you can like really burn, and even if you're a warm tone. That is called your surface level colors, and that is not what color you are. So you kind of want to look down down at what your decolletage is or everywhere else around your body or around your neck area that's gonna show what color you actually are another way of actually showing it is you pressing on your skin and seeing what color it comes out once you let go of the skin tone so you can't really see it because I do have foundation on but mine whenever I let go of my skin it goes more of a yellow that means I'm a warm tone. So if you let go of your skin and you're more of like a pinkyish underneath, that means you're a cool tone. So it is a little bit tricky to actually figure out what you are, but luckily these days we have a whole lot of foundation colors that have, you know, warm, cool, and neutral undertones. And that's gonna really help you find, you know, your, what your actual coloring is. Also, if you like to wear more of like a gold jewelry, that kind of means you're a warm tone. And if you like to wear silver, that means you're more of a cool tone. But for what type of makeup you'll actually like to wear on yourself you can literally work in anything to a makeup look and make it work you can combine cool and warm tones and make it work in case you really don't like wearing cool tones like grays and all that stuff and yeah so that's kind of what I'm gonna be showing you today because I don't usually like to wear cool tones but the easiest way to actually wear them is use it just on your lid and then blend out with some warm tones or you can do a full cool tone eyeshadow and then make sure you bronze your face up and do everything that you normally would and that will like make it work and make it look way better for you than just using cool tones around your whole face. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use this City Mini Palette today. So this is in the shade 410 Chill Brunch Neutrals. <laughs> it has a whole lot of different colors in it. I normally like to use this one over here. I like to use both of these ones normally. Um, this one is the Rooftop Bronze and this one is the Downtown Sunrise. And they both have more of the um, warmer tones in it except for that purple just there that's more of a cool tone so I'm gonna go a little bit out of my comfort zone and use more of the cool tones with a little bit of shimmer a little bit of grays purples with these palettes it is so easy to take around with you because they are so small and you can create a whole bunch of different looks with them so that's why I love these ones I've already done my whole face with the um, the 24 hour superstay foundation and concealer and I've put the concealer on my eye and that was in the shade light so that's just a good base for your eyeshadow to actually stick to first of all I'm gonna be using this little movie color here on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna be popping that all around my crease I'm gonna kind of push that a little bit into my brow bone just here and I'm gonna stretch that out a little bit more just to elongate the eye now I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and use this dark purple here and I'm taking a bit more of a smaller brush and I'm gonna be blending that around my crease area but I'm gonna inch it in a little bit more and only blend it more around the outer corner I'm now gonna go ahead and take this rose goldy type of color on more of a flat brush. And I'm gonna pop this right on my eyelid. Now I'm gonna be placing this silver just here underneath my eye. It's gonna just create that little bit of depth underneath the lash. And then I'm gonna be going in with my falsies mascara and I'm just gonna coat my lashes with that one. I'm going to be finishing this whole look off with more of a cool lip as well. This one is the Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Seductress, 65. 
Okay, so this is the whole cool tone makeup look for a warm skin tone. Um, I really hope you enjoyed learning on how to find your skin tone and to know what types of shadows work for you, but especially just that you can literally work any shadow into your makeup routine and you just have to do the rest of your face and that's how it works out. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below what other videos you'd like to see from me and please remember to subscribe and to like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!